So what is up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this episode of the Galaxy S5 versus the Blue Vivo Air LTE. Now you might be saying, Nick, why are you doing this comparison? And the reason I'm doing it is because when I used to watch YouTube tech videos, used to actually, I still do watch all kinds of them if you've checked my feed, but um, I never see these comparisons like just random comparisons like an S5 versus a Vivo Air. And... I just want to make videos that I would want to watch and uh, these rather rather odd comparisons a used phone versus a rather new phone released in October 2015 released in uh, June of 2014 around that time frame uh, so that's why I'm making this video and basically the purpose of this video is just to help you guys to decide if you're going to pick up a blue vivo air LTE at 150 or a Samsung Galaxy S5 used at around 250 or maybe even you know less than that depending on where you get it you can get it for right around 190 Okay, so first of all, if you like this case that you see right here, I'll leave a link down to Amazon to pick up this case down below in the description. It's a gold case that, you know, kind of resembles a little bit of the gold iPhone-ish. And on the front, it's white rubbers, but we're going to take it off for this video. I just wanted to show you this raw-ass case we got for <laughs> this uh, Vivo Air. If you want to know what I mean by raw-ass case for my slang, it just means it's pretty dope. Um, I'm pretty sure you know what that means. It's pretty good, cool, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are. And uh, as you can see, the blue Vivo Air... LTE is just absolutely beautiful now if we put it next to the s5 you're gonna see it's way thinner than an s5 of course but uh is it better and uh, the question to, that I'm gonna or the answer to that question is no I don't think it's better than the s5 but it does feel better in the hand it does feel more um, let's say premium than the s5 but I would say the s5 feels more sturdy more functional more you know, everyday tough, I'll take a drop kind of phone. This phone feels delicate, beautifully designed, somewhat similar to the iPhone, but I would say this actually feels a little bit nicer than the iPhone. It feels more like a Samsung Galaxy S6 with the glass backs, but that's just my personal preference. You may definitely differ on that, and that's okay too. But overall, this is going to have a 720p screen. This is going to have a 1080p screen, both S AMOLED, Super AMOLED displays. So they are very rich in colors and very uh, blacks are very deep on both of these phones. So if you scroll down, we're going to see that both are running Android Lollipop. Samsung's touch was over the top and this is just the regular Android. And as you can see, I am downloading the games because we are doing a Blue Vivo Air LTE gaming test review coming up soon, probably after this video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, let's just do a couple of quick app tests. Snapdragon 410 over here with two gigabytes of RAM. Snapdragon uh, 801 over here with two gigabytes of RAM. And uh, let's hop over into calculator to get this thing started off. So let's find a calculator. Oh, I accidentally went in the quick pick. Let's go over here and find a calculator. And let's go three. Actually, let's make sure that everything's closed because it's not a fair race if everything is not closed. So let's go back into calculator three, two, one. As you can see, the blue popped open first. Now this might be because it's stock Android, who knows, but that's just a great start off sign because this phone is actually cheaper than this, brand new. So that's a good sign to start. Let's head into calendar, three, two, one. Blue once again. So you can see this is a very quick phone for its price range. Now I did tweak the animations, made them faster. If you wanna know how to make your Android faster, go ahead and watch my video, how to make your Android faster. I'll leave that link down below in the description or in a card up above. And uh, yeah, so it's two for two for the blue so far. Let's go into Chrome and let's do a web browsing search. So we're gonna go into Chrome. Now I didn't tap them open at the same time there, but we're just going to probably do a URL test. Let's go to Google. Let's make this fair. Let's go to Google. Let's make this a fair search. So we're gonna search here. I guess it's going up in the bar on the blue. So let's go to www cnet let's just do cnet and no they ain't paying me to go to cnet i just like the website cnet okay let's hit go in three two one as you can see the blue opened once again quicker than the s5 so but the s5 is still you know trying to catch up here on the speeds i guess they're almost done at the same exact time and the blue's done and the s5 just finished right after so the blue has been winning every test here so that might be because of touch Wiz, and this is stock android but that just goes to show you that you're getting a very quick device here with this blue let's open up an article three two one 
as you can see blue is popping open quicker once again so the blue device is a quick device and you're not going to be disappointed with if you decide to go and pick it up camera wise versus the s5 um the camera on the s5 is going to smoke this baby i'm sorry you can't even compare them there this is not a bad camera by no means it will get the job done but this baby is just top dog when it comes to cameras also it has a heart sensor this doesn't so do you want functionality do you want a great price functionality get the s5 it's got all kinds of things it can go uh underwater you know i did a what's uh is S5 still worth it here in 2016? You can watch that video. I'll leave that link in the description. Um, but yeah, I would say this is a great used phone. If you want to go new and save a lot of money and you want a premium phone, feeling phone, and you know you just want a great bang for the buck, go ahead and pick up the Vivo Air. For my money, if I had 200 bucks, I'm going with the Samsung Galaxy S5. It has removable battery and storage, which just doesn't have. But uh, if I'm going for premium design, I'm going for the blue. So that pretty much wraps it up. Love all these phones. We love all kinds of phones. Technology, I don't think, is meant to be separate. We're all just supposed to, you know, connect with one another using these fancy, great devices. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more technology videos. Stay tuned for the gaming test of this Blue Vivo Air coming soon. And uh, hope you're well wherever you are. Um, have a great night, great morning, great midday. Depends on, you know, what your time zone is. And uh, I will catch you all in the next episode. And peace.